What is up, boys? Uh, we are back here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. This time we have Phantom Nightmare Asian English, though. So what's special about this is there are, I think, different inclusions in here. Like, it's Phantom Nightmare, but not Phantom Nightmare, if that makes sense. There's also different rarities in this set, and I think it's easier to pull certain cards as well. So we'll see. I mean, this is the first time I've opened something like this on the channel. And what's cool about this is that all the cards are in English. So that's kind of cool. You know, I mean, don't let the uh, the Japanese... That's not Japanese, though. Whatever the language that is, fool you. It is English, or should be English. I also like how dark the background is on this set in particular. Because in the uh, TCG, it was more more light, like my, uh, my game math there. But uh, anyways, we are in. Boys, let's see what we can do. I don't know how many packs there are in here, and I don't necessarily know the pull rates either, so, yes. Ooh, that's actually pretty non-flimsy cardboard, and oh boy, okay, so we get a, a bonus pack, which I did see, and then a token, what? Is the token always random, or what's up with this? I'm gonna have to pull it after the video, oh, you know what, I think I can just do this. Wait, wait, there we go. Guys, you bell token? What? That is pretty damn cool, man. I don't know if they are random, and it also kind of sucks because, oh, I think I damaged it. Fuck. It sucks because the, the TCG did start doing this with these special edition boxes that you can get at Walmart, but uh, Phantom Nightmare did not make the cut in, in that case. So that, that really sucks. Okay, so I have to be careful, man. I can't just manhandle these like I manhandle your girl. You know what I mean? I, they, these are more fragile than your girl. Your girl can take a beating. What? Anyway, so Iron Thunder Super Rare. I don't know what that, that extra pack, uh, like the contents are. Maybe they are all Super Rares, but... Oh, anyways, whatever. Oh, man. I'm getting excited for tokens and, and, and a Super Rare. That is pretty crazy. The, the low bar the TCG has uh, given us here. You bell the Terror Incarnate Common, Sorcerer of Sebek, Princip Hug, Gate Guardian of Thunder, and Wind Super Rare. That's that's interesting. Okay. And then an Aromalith Rosalina. So, yes, guys, they're all English. The set, though, is... The set number is uh, AE, I think, so... The, for Asian English. So it is different than the OCG Japan, I should say. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I dig this. They, they still have rares in, in their sets, too. It looks like it's not just super rares. It's kind of interesting. All right. We got Time Reloader. Uh, Keeve, Merc of the Gotti, Ririoku Guardian. The, the, their super rares look so much better, man. They're kind of, like, glossy on the border. That is cool. Dragon King, Queen of the Voiceless Voice, and then the other queen there. All right. I'm also looking to see if the quality is different than the OCG, because usually the... Or, sorry, the TCG, because usually the OCG side of things, they have better cardboard, better stock. And uh, it kind of looks that way like in here, too. Snake Eyes Poplar. This is an, a super rare. Okay. For, for us, it was an ultra rare. So they're definitely doing something different here. They also have the TCG exclusives. Um, oh, no, that's not a TCG exclusive. I forgot the TCG exclusive uh, archetype in this set. And then they shouldn't have it. Huh. But I do like how they're including reprints. Like, I mean, this Skull Guardian, guys. That is cool. Uh, Spore, that's weird, actually. Prayer of the Voiceless Boys. Or is the Black Flame DT. Okay, so I think everything here is super rare. If, uh, I should say this. If, if we got it in a seek, as a secret rare, as an ultra rare, it's a super rare in here. I think. Because that's the what I've been noticing. I also think I have like an ulti in here. So, let's see. Raid Raptor Glory is bright. Dark Element. Bonfire, what? That is crazy, man. And, and it's the OCG style alties too. I wasn't expecting Bob. I guess because of the Snake Eyes Poplar. That is 
crazy. Okay, so the TCG definitely has to copy what the Asian English side is doing. Definitely. Raid Raptor, Noir, Lanias, Berserk, Archfiend, Moray of Avarice, Goblin Biker, and then uh, Dark Guardian Rare. God damn, that is crazy. Hopefully we can do like a Ubel, the Loving Defender Forever uh, ulti, because that would be awesome, man. Moonlight of the Gotti, Possession of the T-Jar, uh, Sprite's Blessing, Double Attack, Wind and Thunder, a Labyrinth Wall Shadow Rare, okay. So not every pack will have that Super Rare, but, I mean, just the chance of getting a Super Rare that in our side was a Secret Rare or an Ultra Rare, so much better. Uh, White Sunfish, Novox Prayer, Flock Together, and then the Black Goat Labs. Wasn't this a Secret Rare for us? That is crazy, dude. Okay, okay. Oh, don't damage. The Pull Tab is nice, but... If you're not careful, you're going to damage the cards just like I did right there. That's that's unfortunate. Silent Sea Needle, Abyss Keeper, Spell Chronicle, Dramatic Snake, I Chase, and then a Magispector, Orthus Nui. So, I mean, good thing I didn't damage anything important in that pack. Uh, come on. Now I'm, now I'm like doubting myself, my abilities to open these packs up. It's now, no bueno, guys. No bueno. All right. What do we got? What do we got here? Uh, we got a uh, Memento Karibo World Carrot Weight Champion. What? Materialization. White Reincarnation. What? White Sardine. White. What is up with this, man? All these white fish and shit. All right. We got Fish Lamp. We got a Cactus. Bouncer. Dragonic. Pendulum. Radiance of the Voiceless Voice. And then... Ages of the Stars and Frost. So I haven't pulled a super rare in a while. We need to uh, we need to change that. Goblin Biker, Clatter, Sploder, East Stranger, Big Bang, Earthbound Fusion, Goblin Biker, Grand Bash, and then a dragon. We've seen it though. We've seen that dragon. We we don't like to see it. We need something different, you know. So let's see if we can pull a little better here. Moon Eating Dragon, Moko Moko, Him of Light, Prey of the Jirai Gumo, and Samsara D Lotus. That's cool though. I'm not exactly sure if you can actually use these cards. Like if they're tournament official in the TCG, I doubt they are because then the the TCG side is gonna be losing money, right? And like they don't want that. Uh, Mature Chronicle. Raid Raptor Roost, and then Eternal Favorite Rare. Wow, okay. Wasn't that... That was a common, actually. I would not... I think it was a common for us, at least. I would have minded it as a rare. Something, you know, a little bit higher than a common. Disrespecting Ubel here. TCG Konami. Ubel, Terra Incarnate. Raid Raptor Roost. White Aura Porpoise. All right. God dang, we did we just pull everything on the on the right side? First couple packs there. The the ultimate nightmare common. Riruku Guardian. Eroma Healing. And then a Brave Strix Rare. Alright. I gotta also see how many packs there actually are in this in this box. Because it feels like there's like 36. But like five cards per pack. So it kind of evens out, I think. Uh Magic Spectre Wind. And then a Raid Raptor Bloom Vulture. All right. Come on, man. We've been seeing a lot a lot of rares. A lot of rares here. And commons. Abyss Keeper. Clatter Sploder. Earthbound Fusion. A Dark Element. And then a Barrier of the Voiceless Voice. Whoo, come on. Loving Defender forever and ever. And ever. Labyrinth. Heavy Tank. Uh, Memento Karibo. Goblin Biker Grand Stampede. And a Carnet, the Eternal Machine. That is definitely a reprint. That's cool. So even the Ultra Rares, I guess there are Ultra Rares in here. They, they, they The borders are kind of glossy, and I can't really explain it other than that. You, you guys can actually, you can barely read the, the name because the, the border is so glossy. It's kind of cool. It definitely does look different than our Ultra Rares. Uh, Spore. White Sunfish, Sprite's Blessing, Aromalith, Magnolia, uh, Super Rare, 
and then the Crazy Beast. That's a badass name. I wonder if there's any name changes here, too. I would... I, I kind of don't think there would be. Uh, but I don't know. Materialization, double attack, and then an ultra rare Armatile. That is right. I do remember seeing this somewhere. That is a crazy reprint. Because uh, there, if you guys don't know or like confuse why this is in here, we did actually get, I think, either one or two Sacred Beast support cards in this set. Um, not that good, but we got them. So let's see. So we got Emissary of the Wax or some shit. All right, so I mean, we did. We are, we are pulling some other cool stuff in here besides some commons and rares. Uh, Spell Chronicle, White Reincarnation, Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. And now, now I know that you can get Ultra Rares in here as well. Kind of curious if you can get Secret Rares too. Uh, Skull Guardian, Novox Prayer, Radiance of the Voiceless Voice, and then Aroma Blend. Uh, I kind of doubt that though. I think it, I think you could get QCRs. And alties, but not secret rares. Uh, World Carrot Witch. Oh, I don't know why this is any. Oh, wait. Is Ra were Ragnarikas introduced in the set? Maybe that's why. Uh, Nature Chronicle, Goblin Biker Grand Bash, Raiders Wing Rare. All right. Uh, I think this is this set is also pretty cheaper. Like these boxes are pretty cheap compared to the TCG. I think it's like at least half the price. So. It's insane how much Konami shafts us, man. And there we go. You bell the loving defender forever and ever. Ultra rare. I wonder if you can get this as a, as a super rare, because that would be kind of dope. Um, but unfortunately, not a an ulti. But I mean I'll still take it, man. Any any you bell and any rarity is all right in my book. Cactus Bouncer, Silent Sea Needle, Prayers, Prayers of the Voices Voice. Raid Raptor Roost. Oh, so there are secret rares. We got Horus, the Black Flame DT, and we already pulled in as a super rare, so it's definitely possible to pull uh, Ubel as a secret rare. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. And there, there are secret rares. That is awesome, dude. Okay. Let's see. Come on, man. Give me one more ulti. Maybe there are in QCRs then. Maybe that was just me dreaming here. Dragonic Pendulum, Aroma Healing, Raiders, Unbreakable Wind. Or mind. Last pack. Come on, man. Give me something good. So is it one secret rare and one ulti? The pull rates are interesting. Stealth Kraken. Uh, Raid Raptor Noir Linnaeus. Super rare Ignis Phoenix Draco Slayer. And then a Goblin Biker Grand Entrance to finish it. That is crazy. So how many packs were there actually? Because... I mean, there was, there was a lot of freaking packs. I don't see a number. All right, so the, the haul is interesting, guys. I try to keep everything as separate as I could. Um, so, yeah. So, super rare, super rare, secret rare, super rare, super rare, super rare, super rare, super rare, and ultra. So, the pull rates seem to be one ulti, one secret rare, uh, three ultra rares, which is kind of cool. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, super rares. But it seems like every card that is a super rare could also be an ulti or a secret rare, which is kind of cool. And these are more like less expensive than the TCG boxes. So, yeah, maybe we should uh, be petitioning Konami to be changing the structure of these uh, core sets, guys. Anyways, that is the video. Catch you guys in the next one.